This is an ABC News special report. Good morning. We have breaking news. So we're going to pause now for an ABC News special report. For those of you just joining in, we've been having coverage of the shooting at an elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut, the Sandy Hook Elementary School, in which 27 people were killed, 20 of them children. We're about to have a news conference outside the firehouse where all of this has been taking place. Speaking to reporters, there will be Lieutenant Paul Vance from the state police, as well as Lieutenant George Cinco from the Newtown Police Department update. Uh, all the reporters and of course the entire country on the details of the shooter 20 year old Adam Lanza and the shooter's mother who appears to have been the motive for sparking this deadly rampage uh, once the, the police officers go to the bank of microphones we'll take them obviously this has been devastating news for the entire nation to process as well as this community a small uh, community inside Connecticut uh, this elementary school had just started school it was shortly after 9 30 in the morning yesterday when the gunman entered the school School. Still a lot of questions as to how Adam Lanza gained entry, whether someone buzzed in to let him in or whether or not he broke glass to enter the school. He came in, we are told, with at least three weapons, used those weapons to open fire on two different classrooms right, in which teachers and children uh, we'll were killed. Let's listen in. minutes and uh, bring you up to date uh, with the progress that we've uh, made in this investigation. Uh, with me is the... Uh, uh, Chief of Police from Newtown, uh, the Field Operations Commander of the State Police, and my counterpart here from uh, Newtown Police Department. Uh, as you know, the uh, victims have been positively identified uh, by the uh, Office of the Chief State's Medical Examiner. Uh, they're still in the process of doing some of their work, and uh, as soon as that work is completed, we will be prepared uh, to release in writing to you uh, a formal uh, a list of uh, names, birth dates, and, and information. Uh, there is one, uh, well, there's a couple major factors. Number one, uh, when we release that list, and we would ask you again, as we did yesterday, at the request of all of the family members, they have asked for you to please respect their privacy. They're going through, as I know you understand, a very difficult and trying time. Uh, we have, in fact, uh, under the auspices of, of the chief and the colonel, uh, reassign and continue to assign a trooper uh, to these folks to help to maintain uh, that solitude. Uh, so again, I would ask you, and I'm pleading with you, uh, as you know, this is an extremely heartbreaking, difficult thing for these folks to endure, uh, to please abide by their requests. Um, in addition, for the townspeople uh, in the town of Newtown, a crisis intervention team from Yale New Haven Hospital has been established uh, here in the community and they can be reached via telephone. Uh, that telephone number is 203-270-4283. And again, they're, they're open and they're available to anyone in the community who may have uh, the need to discuss, to talk, uh, to to uh, talk about this uh, this incident in its entirety. Um, I have the ability to take some questions. I just simply want you to understand that we still have major crime detectives and Newtown detectives working at the scene in the school. That is not completed. That probably will not be completed for at least another day and a half to two days. And I'm putting a time limit on it and it could take longer. Uh, as I explained to you in previous press conferences, we've done everything we need to do uh, to literally peel back the onion layer by layer, okay, and examine every crack and crevice of that facility. And that does not include, or exclude, I should say, the outside of the building. The outside of the building is also a part of the crime scene, every single vehicle in that lot. So it's gonna be a long, painstaking process. Uh, we actually have three teams now, three major crime teams in the community. Uh, our, our local partners are working with us and, and we're going to move that as uh, and expedite that along as quickly as possible. Uh, we had a meeting uh, this morning and that was a delay with the uh, superintendent of schools. Uh, she will be um, uh, hopefully in the not too distant future up here uh, to talk briefly um, about some of the issues that, uh, that she has encountered. Uh, the minute the medical examiner is done, and I mean that sincerely, the minute he is done, uh, he is coming here and we will uh, again provide provide all the detailed information or as much detailed information as we can relative to uh, 
of the work that his office did uh, both overnight and, and continue to do as we speak. Um, again, as far as actual specific questions, I'll take a few, but I have to tell you, all right, there are certain things that were just simply cards that were holding close to our chest uh, in this investigation until, so nothing's taken out of context and we have continuity of, of all the information that we provide. Yes, sir. No, that's 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 not accurate. The uh, the weaponry that uh, it was recovered by our uh, investigators recovered in close proximity of uh, of the deceased. And again, we're we're investigating the history of each and every weapon, and we will know every single thing about those weapons. And I know follow up questions are legally registered, who are the owners, and so on and so forth. That's all being done by the investigator that's assigned to that task. Is there Is there Adam yeah, we, we're, we're, again, we're going to allow the medical examiner, we're going to wait for the medical examiner to uh, uh, to come in and provide the identities of the shooter, of all the deceased in this in this investigation. Senator, have you found any writings, any emails, any messages that would have enlightened you as to what his motive was? Uh, that, that certainly is a, is a fair, good question. Uh, the answer I can give you on that is that our investigators at the crime scene, the school, and secondarily at the uh, secondary crime scene that we discussed uh, where the female was located deceased uh, did produce uh, some very uh, uh, very good evidence uh, in this investigation that our investigators will be able to use uh, in hopefully uh, painting the complete picture as to how and more importantly why this occurred what type of evidence is it sir? we don't we're not going to name the evidence we're not going to talk about the evidence it's simply uh, simply stated, it's part and parcel of the investigation. I don't want to take it out of context of uh, of what's being done. We have established the point of entry. Uh, it was, uh, I can tell you, it was, it's believed he was not voluntarily let into the school at all, uh, that he forced his way into the school, but that's uh, as far as we can go on that. Are there any broken windows in the school? Are there what? Yeah, quite frankly, that's that's something, again, if you take it out of context, it sounds suspicious, but uh, as the rescue crews arrived, the uh, active shooting teams entered the school. They entered the school from several different points, and it necessitated forcing their way in to gain access to perform the rescue and to save as many students and faculty as they possibly could. Hence, law enforcement broke many windows. What about the scene where the body was found? What's that? The other crime scene, yeah, the secondary crime scene, as I told you, was was a crime scene that was discovered pursuant to the investigation. Uh, once we had a tentative identification on the uh, suspect, we began doing um, a great deal of work. Uh, again, peeling back the onion, everything we could find out about that suspect, including and not limited to uh, relatives, friends, co-workers, uh, former students, um, uh, location of, of residents. And all those areas had to be, people had to be interviewed, and all those areas had to be examined. Uh, hence, that causes to discover the secondary crime scene, which was a private residence with a sole female deceased. Yeah, the evidence in the house, do you think it will provide you a motive or an explanation as to why he went to school? To be determined. The detectives will, will certainly analyze everything and put a complete picture together of, of the evidence that they, that they did obtain. Um, and we're hopeful. We're hopeful that it'll it'll paint a complete picture as to how and why this entire incident, uh, unfortunate incident, occurred. On the other crime scene, did you find a man or a woman? I'm sorry. There was one woman who uh, was shot and survived. How was she doing? Uh, she she is doing fine. She she has been treated and and uh, she'll be instrumental in this investigation. I'm sure you can understand. That I don't know. That I don't. Know. Force, forcibly force his way into the school. That would be, that would be accurate according to investigators. Yes. I, I don't, I don't want to be too specific because, quite frankly, I don't know. So I, I would simply, I've been informed that it was forcibly entered and was not allowed to enter, if you will. All right, what I, what I'd like to do is, is, is I'd like to uh, get the next portion, if you will, of today. And I, I don't want to keep you here all day. I want to try and do this as expeditiously as we possibly can and get as much information out to you. Uh, we'd like to get the uh, uh, the superintendent definitely wants to come up with the town leaders uh, to, to discuss uh, uh, certain uh, areas of her responsibility. Uh, and then we, we certainly want to get the medical examiner up here. And again, we'll do that as quickly as we possibly can so we can get 
uh, the list of IDs and all the information out to you. Uh, for any of you that are new here today, the Lieutenant and I have put together a, a written press release. Uh, we'll, we'll provide those to you uh, at my vehicle. Please don't rush my vehicle. We, have, we should have enough for everyone. And if not, we'll bring more uh, next time we come up. And it just lays out the basic details of everything leading up up until uh, today. Lieutenant All right, we will uh, we will try. I don't want to give you time, but we will try to be back here. I'm going to say within the hour. I'll, I'll make notification to some of you that uh, that I can that we're on the way. All right. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, one does question. Does the mother of the, the shooter have any connection to the school? Now, you have to understand that after the shooting, that we did a complete and thorough search of the entire area, the neighborhood, uh, with our local partners. Everything, everything was examined. If we found anyone that was in the woods cutting wood, they would be, they would be detained uh, pending the investigation. So there were no other arrests that were associated with this with this investigation uh, that occurred. Okay. Sir, what about the mindset? So, what about the mindset of them? Um, I would, I would have you address that with the, uh, with the superintendent of schools. Okay, we can, she can, she can give you that answer. We, we, we will, we will be back. I need to get. If I don't get here, we're going to be here quite some time. I know you have a lot of questions. And I think the people that are coming here, that are, we're bringing here to speak to you, can really answer these questions and put a lot of, uh, take a lot of the mystery out of, of what we've been dealing with for the last 24 hours. What about his mindset though, through your investigation? Have you okay, heard we will, we will be back. All the families from both sides. Yes. And Lieutenant Paul Vance from Connecticut State Police wrapping up his press conference. Obviously, some news emerging there. First of all, they have positively identified all of the victims. Remember, 20 of them, young children. They'll be re releasing the list of those names, which I'm sure looks like a, a kindergarten or first grade class list uh, with all those names and ages and dates of birth, pleading with the media to give those family privacy, um, those families grieving an unimaginable loss at this point, giving a hotline number to anybody in the community needing uh, therapy, counseling over the phone. A lot of people we know will be reaching out to that. Also, this is key. All the weapons were apparently found inside the school near the body of the shooter, at least three weapons. There's been good evidence for a motive for the shooting that was found at the, uh, the victim's home that he apparently shared with his mother, uh, where he had apparently before going to the school and opening fire on all those children, uh, killed his mother by firing on her at point blank range. Also evidence that he forced his way into the elementary school after speculation that perhaps he'd been buzzed in. And that finally, uh, the sole survivor in this shooting, one person survived that shooting, will be uh, crucial to the investigation going forward. She is doing fine and obviously will have valuable evidence uh, for police going forward. This has been a special report from ABC News.